Welcome to the example. My name is Devin. In this video, me, Israel, and Mike discuss becoming a mentor. All right, brother Mike. You know, so I know you. So we talked earlier. Told me you had no kids, but right. Um, I know you mentor through some mentorship, and right. um, maybe can you share, you know, how maybe a little bit how you were raised and how that affected you, um, the standard, what is man, you know, how your father taught you. Yeah. Uh, a little bit about what is love, how your father taught you that, and how that's affected you, and how do you how you portray that to the some of the men that you uh, mentor? Yeah. Uh, so you know, <clears throat> a lot of times I think another part of uh, another big part of going back to our definition of being a man, once you realize, okay, I'm a, I'm gonna be a man, mm -hmm. is you know taking what you've been taught and learning how to appreciate your experiences mm -hmm. and you know kind of almost like you're putting that into the ingredients <laughs> of how you're going to operate in life yeah. so i say that to say you know so we were raised up you know uh strict pentecostal household with 10 children six boys four oh, girls <laughs> six boys four girls <laughs> you know down south <laughs> Holy Roman Pentecostal, oh, as they call it. Yeah. And uh, I'm the last of, of, of the 10. Uh, actually, 11. We had a, a, a sister that uh, died when she was a baby, so 11 total. Yeah. But um, for, for me, and, and this, is, this is one of the things that it took me becoming into manhood for me to be able to explain this in the best way. Um, a lot of things with our upbringing, and it's not to say anything was bad about our upbringing, but a lot of things were void in terms of the total package of being a man. What I do appreciate is the biggest thing our father instilled in us, I think, in terms of being a man is godly love mm -hmm. and what it means to be a man of God, mm -hmm. a, a man of spirituality. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was the biggest thing. But a lot of things outside of that was a kind of you're going through this maze, mm -hmm. you know, so... Um, finances. There, there, it's a lot of it's a lot of uh, tools in your toolbox of being a man. Yeah, yeah. So it's finances, it's relationships, it's you know, um, it's 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 job readiness, it's job preparation, all of that. And so um, a lot of things, man. I'm so blessed. My wife, a lot of things, man. I didn't hear about until I got in a relationship. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm in college. I'm a grown man. At yeah. least that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, it's just a lot of simple things that maybe by that age I should have known. Um, so that kind of gets into, you know, how I operate now and what I try to pass on to whether it's my many nephews or, or my ment. I've had two mentees that I've had long term relationships with the, you know, the young men that I mentored. One was about four years in this the one that I'm currently in is ongoing. He's at Auburn University right now. Oh, so pursuing uh, higher education. And the main thing is, it's just, I think the biggest part of that is being the example. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I love that title. Um, because a lot of times you can tell somebody, you can tell somebody a lot of stuff. This is what you do. Kind of like you were saying, you know, do as I say or do, do what I do. But anything else is wrong. But they're looking at your actions too. Mm -hmm. So it's really, it's really being there. I love the way you said, uh, I love how you talked about being sensitive because that's one of those things that we don't necessarily put into being a man. Yeah. You know, you can't be sensitive. You can't, you know, you can't cry. You can't, you can't have no emotions. You can't show emotions. Yeah. Um, and I think that's a fallacy, you know, and that's, that's something that's really been passed down and really been talked to us. So we run with it. So I, I think it's just important in terms of what I do and what I continue to try to do is just, you know, it's not always about um, trying to force feed things to people either because we know how it is when we were young men. We were 16, 17, 18. We thought we knew it all anyway. Yeah, yeah. So you're trying to tell me how to be a man. I, I got this. You yeah. know, I'm on cruise control. So I really think it's a matter of being present. We talked about that having that male presence or that father figure, the same thing, that male presence. So I think one of the big things is being present if you're saying – because a lot of times we're we're there when we're not wanted, but when we're needed, we're not there. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's 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 deep. Sure is. Because there's a lot of times when Say that one more time. <laughs> I think a lot of times in terms of being a man, a lot of times we're there when we're not wanted, but we're not there when we're needed. Okay. Wow. And that's important. 
And you know, some people may look at that as like, what do you mean when, you, when you're not wanted? It's a matter of finding that balance of, okay, I'm always telling you stuff, I'm being an example. Of course, sometimes I don't want to hear that. But now, when I come into, when I come into a, uh, a real life crisis, where this is gonna be pivotal for me becoming a man mm -hmm. or getting on that right path, and I say, hey, look, I know, I know. You've been telling me this, this, and that, but now I need you. And I turn a blind out of that, now yeah. you just messed up everything you did. Oh, that's right. And so that's why I kind of say that, you know, <laughs> a lot of times we're not there when we're needed, and I think that's important. So it's a matter of uh, just being available, you know. Um, so many times we don't realize uh, what's right in front of us, uh, a young man, um, uh, uh, young women, because you know it's, it's not it's not just to younger men; it's young women too. Because a lot of times, a, a young lady don't they don't have an example or a vision of what a man should be. So now they accept certain things in their life that shouldn't be there. So again, it's even showing the young. It's, it's just being present. So it's the same thing for my nephews and my nieces. I don't have children. Uh, I got enough nephews and nieces. <laughs> but so uh, it's just a matter of I, I really think it's being present so again it's kind of going back to our upbringing I, I don't regret anything about our upbringing but there are so many things that wasn't there that I had to learn but guess what Mike if you say you're you're a man then you gotta you gotta take care of responsibility and you gotta learn it and that's a matter of you know that's another thing passing to uh, that next generation is like you know if it's something that you don't know about you don't have any excuse now because we all walk around with a computer in our pockets these days. Right. <laughs> so, you know, connect, connect, research, Google. If you if you Google the hottest the hottest new dance, you know, you can Google about credit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that's, you know, the, the long answer, I didn't make the long story short, but that's kind of, you know, no, how I feel back on that. That's that's going to help people out. That's, that's really good. So, um, so, thank you, thank you for that. Thanks for tuning in to the example. Comment below and join the conversation. Subscribe and uh, check out our other videos. God bless.